New series coming at your way, guys, right here, right now. First, before we get into it, though, join the Discord. I announced yesterday there is a Discord available for the RLCS Spotlight community. My name's Lanjo in there, so, like, it's a little confusing. But, like, that's me. So, just know that. But join in. It's going to be hype. It's going to be fun building community with you guys on the road to 1K. But, that all being said, new series. We have some repeat teams Going to the Winter Major, such as Team BDS, Base Clan, NRG, G2, Dignitas, Endpoint, Furia, Renegades, Sandrot Gaming. Everyone else is new. So today, that's what the start of this series is going to be. It's going to give you guys an introduction on the teams, the new teams that are competing at the Winter Majors, to give you guys a breakdown on who they are, what they're about, and where they're from. So my first team I've selected, this is technically, they're, they're technically they're not the first team to have qualified, because Team Queso were. Queso, we'll, we'll, they'll, they'll get a video. My first team is going to be the pioneers they're the first to have all, all three regionals completed and they're the first new team in my head obviously like i said queso said point so team consists of super locky banana head and scrub i've compiled the stats courtesy of octane gg put them into my own spreadsheet and should kind of going to show you guys the difference between the winter and the fall split, see who's improved, see who hasn't improved, just kind of like where they're at standings-wise in their series wins. Four Kidden is the former, like, Pioneers are formerly Four Kidden. Okay in the fall split, they were a playoff team every single time, I believe, but could never make that final push except for the final regional where they took a second place. This time, they took second, second, and third solidifying themselves as the number two seed for the OCE region. So Super Locky's production has remained very similar. His, if you can't, if you can tell the difference there, they're, they're very marginal differences here. Definitely just the most consistent player for them. Seems like he's the most, he, he's like the goal line. He's like the defense. He's the defenseman, essentially. He leads the team in saves across both splits on an average. So he's consistent on offense, consistent on defense. He's kind of the anchor of the team. Banana head has increased his rating slightly, nothing really huge there in a the difference, and his metrics are down a little bit, but he seems to be the powerhouse of the offense. He's leading the team in goals per game and assists per game, kind of being that striker, essentially. And then the final player who is the key in all this, I believe, Scrub has increased his rating by 0.1. Now that might not seem like a lot, but when you go from a point, 0 0.826 to a 0 0.934, that makes a world of difference in your results. And you can tell his stats are up across the board between the winter and fall split. I think Scrub is definitely the key. Once they got him playing a little bit better, he helped propel them to that second spot. Obviously, he, based on this rating, is the least performing, you know, stat-wise. Obviously, stats don't tell the whole story, but once he started playing better, the team started playing better as well. So realistic expectations for them. They did get placed in Group D with Dignitas, Sandrock, and Space Station. I think if they got put into a different group, maybe like they take over Team Secret Spot where they might have a chance to beat Evil Geniuses. I don't see them making it out of groups, unfortunately. I do see them taking a 13th through 16th. I'd say their peak could be a 9th through 12th. I think they're... They're not, a, they're not a bad team by any means. Obviously, they made the Winter Major, and they're going to continue to cause problems in OCE as those lower bracket boys, as I like to call them. They're not a group-topping team. They just carry momentum to them to the lower bracket, and it's done them well so far. It's just getting to that lower bracket in the Winter Major is going to be all the much harder. Pioneers, they're, they're just a nuisance on offense and defense. They play fast, they play hard, and they're really decent mechanically. They might be... All three of them might be like the most like mechanical as a team. Obviously, like players like Fever and Amphis might have them beat in terms of mechanics on like Ground Zero and Renegades. Pioneers, I like this team a lot. I hope they have a good time in LA and I hope that they find some success there and they, you know, continue to have success in OCE. But that is your first introduction to a new team in the Winter Major. This has been RLCS Spotlight and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. It's probably going to be Team Queso. Spoilers. See you then. Peace.